welcome um, in Leicester finally after a, a long period of time. Um, what's your first impressions of the club? Uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, everyone's been welcoming. Uh, good to meet the coaches and the manager uh, here at Leicester. Uh, very welcoming and um, yeah, good to just uh, get a feel around the place. And it's, uh, you can tell why it's one of the you know uh, strong history here at uh, Leicester. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been good so far. Why Leicester? I mean, obviously, there's a, a thousand reasons for, for most things, but what, why now? Why Leicester after a, a long, decorated career in, in New Zealand? I think for me it was uh, just a new challenge. Um, probably the best time in my career um, at 27 years old, just to um, experience a, a different part of the world and um, experience a different side of rugby. Uh, been in uh, New Zealand for seven, eight years, playing, playing professional um, for the Crusaders, um, and I've definitely enjoyed it. Um, you know, uh, and just for me, it's, it's probably just the perfect time to come over here. And then why Leicester? Um, you know, a lot of past Crusaders have come through here. Yeah. Um, you know, Aaron Major, Scott Hamilton, uh, just to name a couple. But, you know, it's a very strong, rich history like the Crusaders. Um, and, uh, yeah, just a uh, very strong history. You know, I just wanted to be a part of it. Have you had any chats with any of those guys, the previous Tigers? Did they yeah, influence? I did. Yeah, I had a, uh, um, Aaron Major, you know, he's uh, coaching uh, the Highlanders. So um, we've... Uh, We've had a few conversations about where to go and where to visit and where to stay. And uh, yeah, he said it's uh, definitely an awesome place to, uh, that he played for. And also, uh, he was lucky enough to coach here as well. So, uh, yeah, just picking his brains and uh, about you know where to go and places to see. You mentioned the Crusaders. You spent a long time there. Was it a hard decision to say goodbye to somewhere you've you've been for a long time? Yeah, it was. It was quite tough. Uh, you know, I uh, started there back in 2013, and I've been there ever since. Played 100 games uh, yeah. for them this year as well, so uh, it's a big part of my, my career. Um, it was really sad, but at the same time exciting um, for me to come here and, 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 and to continue my, my footy. Uh, never say never. Um, I'm 27 years old. Maybe uh, you know, yeah. maybe later in my career I'll, I'll be I'll end up back there. But for now, I'm just excited to be here, being part of the Tigers family. When you um, when you sign for a club like Leicester, or when you sign to make a move a long way down the road, how do you manage that? I guess psychologically, while you're still playing, you obviously had the Mitre 10 as well. How do you manage that through the season before coming here? For me, it was uh, just trying to get a, a decision out there early. Yep. Um, just so I can park it. Yep. You know, I didn't have to worry about it um, during the Super Rugby campaign and also the Mitre 10 Cup season. Um, so when it was, it was really clear to me if, uh, if I was going to go overseas or stay for another year. And with uh, rugby nowadays um, and the injuries I've had in the last couple of years, I've broken both my forearms. Um, and Ouch. that was uh, yeah uh, through rugby, and uh, that was kind of a big decision for me to go. All right, you know, I think it's time for me to to, to, to look elsewhere, and and and, and Leicester was the place. Um, decision was 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 tough, but it, uh, once it was made, it was easy for me to just uh, enjoy my footy. Um, you know, uh, play with some good friends of, of mine and uh, a good bunch of men, and uh, yeah, I've had not a bad year. So uh, hopefully, continue that with Leicester. You've obviously read the comments from Tigers fans on social media as well. It must have been quite uplifting to see how excited there was of this of this big crowd base to see you coming to their club. Yeah, the, some of the people have been, you know, messaged me through the year, when am I coming, <laughs> when am I when am I arriving? Uh, can't wait to see a off the road and hey look, uh, message them as I'm here now and you know, I can't wait to get stuck into it. But uh, yeah, the fans here, are, uh, I wouldn't say crazy, but they're real passionate, yeah. um, very passionate fans. Uh, similar to what what we're like back home, um, but here at Welford Road, uh, you know, I've, I've heard a lot of stories about it being uh, you know real really traditional and uh, uh, to get behind uh, the team. So I uh, can't wait to get out there uh, when I get the opportunity to, to run out in front of the fans. Obviously, you've only just finished up playing as well after the Super Rugby season. You had the Mitre Ten and then you won it. Congratulations! How was that experience for the last couple of months? Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, I always uh, said I was going to finish up in New Zealand and. Yeah. And that's the way I wanted to do it, uh, was, was play for Tasman, um, give it one more shot. Uh, we, for Tasman, uh, we hadn't won it, um, mm. uh, the Premiership, 14 years we've been in it. So uh, to, to go to, to win it, win it uh, this year and go undefeated, that was something special. Um, and that was something, I think, I guess my, my little wee give back to the club. Um, and uh, good to finish on a, on a high with them. To Luis Viano, um, a friend of yours, someone you've known a long time. You're looking forward to linking up with him again, and I guess the second part to his. What, what's he had to say to you about this place? Oh yeah, it's good to, to, to about to rub shoulders with him again. Um, 
played alongside of them back in the day with uh, Canterbury um, and also uh, through the academy stages. Uh, but uh, he just told me, he said, you're going to enjoy it, uh, good culture here and a good bunch of men. And I'm actually going to catch up with him tonight for dinner. Yep. He's going to try to keep me up because I'm a bit jet lagged at the moment. But, uh, <laughs> no KFC. He nah, loves, no KFC. He loves KFC. Uh, does he? Yeah. Oh, nah, Major problem. What is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. But uh, nah, it's delicious to see he's going to pick me up for dinner and uh, we'll catch up tonight. But I'm looking forward to rubbing shoulders with him again and um, getting up there and, and playing along with him. You've met Jordan, you've met some of the staff today, had a quick walk around. What's Jordan had to say to you, I mean, even in the build-up to coming? What what expectations has he put on you already or maybe none, but what's he had to say to you? Yeah, at the moment, he's just uh, pretty much just welcoming me in yep. uh, today and just said, hey, look, uh, get familiar with the place and then we'll talk about, you know, we'll talk some code on, on Monday. But yeah. um, I think for Jordan, uh, we, were talk, we talked earlier on uh, in the year, it's just basically me just coming, coming uh, here and doing what I've been doing with the Crusaders. Um, it's just, you know, get your hand on the ball and, 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 and run with it and if you get a chance on defence, do your thing. So uh, that's probably been the most easiest uh, uh, talk I've had with, with Jordan. It's just basically, hey, look, when you get here, just do your thing and I'm looking forward to, to doing that. What is your thing? I mean, what, I mean uh, it's, it's a hard question, but I mean, firstly, do you have a preferred position? I know you play most spots across the back row there. Is yeah, there? Uh, six, eight cover seven, yep. um, I prefer uh, six yep. or eight, um, basically just whether I can get my hands on the ball or, 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 or make some plays on, on defence, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm easy aware of it, but um, yeah, I think, I think for me as a player, it's just as long as I've ball in hand, um, I love running the ball, I love running into people, I love smashing people too, so uh, something that I uh, thrive off and um, you know, that's what I look forward to as a player and a little bit of uh, you know, bringing the energy, it's uh, what I thrive off and, and, and hopefully uh, my teammates will too. I mean, finally, I want to ask you that. Uh, it's probably a little bit of the same question, but Brett Deacon spent some time with the Crusaders last year when he came back. He was glowing in his assessment of you and your leadership qualities and your energy. What is it that you want the fans to expect from you? What is it that you want them to be excited about seeing Jordan Taufur <laughs> running around in a Tiger shirt? Oh, well, first of all, just lower your expectations down for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Fans are just uh, hopefully just, uh, I guess, you know, me just coming out to Welford Road and um, going out there and doing my thing. Uh, I think expecting me just to, to, to get out there and perform. Um, I know that the, the list of fans are very passionate, um, you know, win or lose. You know, they always uh, get behind the team and, and I know they'll, you know, uh, the last couple of years have been tough. But I think, for, uh, you know, uh, hopefully I can come here and, and bring the, what I can bring is um, bringing the energy and, and just uh, you know, having fun with it, and and um, yeah, hopefully uh, bring Leicester back to what it's uh, been in the past. So.